Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, we'll discuss the differences between GIMP and Photoshop. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is the pricing. GIMP is an open source and free photo editing software. The team of global developers doesn't charge monthly or yearly subscriptions. They do it for the love of photo editing. On the contrary, Photoshop sets monthly or annual subscriptions to access its tools. Adobe owns Photoshop, and they moved their range of software to subscriptions in 2013. It's impossible to buy a standalone Photoshop copy. This model is not suitable for photographers who use editing software infrequently. Therefore, GIMP is budget-friendly and accessible to beginner and expert photographers who don't use editing software frequently. Complexity GIMP is a basic software that beginners and amateurs can use. Furthermore, you can expand the pre-installed plugins and use them professionally. The software is lightweight at only 200 megabytes and suits a PC with limited capabilities. On the other hand, Photoshop is a complex application for established designers and sophisticated photographers. It has powerful tools that GIMP lacks, such as the ability to edit smart objects and vector images. Photoshop also has a mobile version that allows you to edit photos while you're on the move. In this case, Photoshop has superior tools that can cope with professional and complex tasks. And the mobile version availability. User Interface GIMP has a flexible user interface. With GIMP, you can customize your workspace according to your needs. For example, hide or show the toolbars, resize them, and move them around. You can detach a particular panel from its area and move it to another for accessibility. For drawing, GIMP's interface has three parts, a workspace, toolbar, and dialog panel that you can use in standard or single window modes. Photoshop's interface is difficult to learn and maneuver because it's divided into several fields, including menus, parameters, toolbars, and workspaces, among others. The number of features make it difficult for beginners to customize workspaces. Therefore, GIMP has an easier-to-use interface that saves time and effort. But do they have any similarities? Yes, they do. GIMP and Photoshop can let you open, edit, and save Photoshop files. To sum up, which is better, GIMP or Photoshop? I liked Photoshop because it has superior photo editing tools and can handle complex projects. However, GIMP has a simpler user interface and is beginner-friendly. GIMP is also free, so it's best for amateurs or designers who don't need monthly or annual subscriptions. For these reasons, I pick GIMP as the winner between the two. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching. Till next time.